Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michael and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use MailChimp to automate your whole email sending stuff, your list creation, how to manage your subscribers and much more. Be sure to check out this awesome tutorial. All right, so why do you even need an email automation tool like MailChimp or Aweber? or get response or whatever. So the reason is pretty simple actually, because you wanna gather uh, the actual emails of people who land on your website. Uh, you wanna create lists, targeted lists, where you can later on send them emails. Uh, depending on, on what you're selling, uh, what you're doing, uh, I use it to sell them free video material, uh, I send them coupon codes or whatever. So, and as an example right here, uh, as you can see, my InstaGlory course, which I actually launched two days ago. And by the way, thank you so much for everyone who bought the course already. We made some nice sales uh, right after launch. So it's really awesome. Uh, thank you very much. And um, this is basically one landing page. Um, I use multiple landing pages, of course, for my InstaGlory course right here. And people will land on this and then they will basically uh, see the offer right here. Uh, and click on this button right here that says gain access now and they will basically see a little form where they simply put in their email uh, and then get click get access now and then they will end on another page where they could actually buy but of course most people don't do this right away they they don't simply go and type in their email right here and then go to the, the next page and immediately buy right so what it what will happen is People will enter their email right here, and then immediately they will be uh, they will be getting an email from me, uh, sending them a free video where I explain to them how to make money on Instagram, how to do this, how to do that, and this will basically this kind of functions as another uh, sales video, and this is what you call a sales funnel, right? This functions as another sales video that will most likely convert them uh, into buyers. And after a few days, they will also get another email that will actually uh, send them a coupon code, you know? So this is all stuff that you have to automate right here. So this is why you need to use a tool like MailChimp right here. Um, you can say whatever you want. MailChimp is my favorite. A lot of people say Aweber is better, whatever. Uh, I mean, in, in my opinion, it's MailChimp, guys, you know? So the first thing you really need is a list, right? An email list. Uh, they say uh, the money is in the list, which is not, I mean, which is not that accurate anymore. Like in 2016, conversion rates, uh, click-through rates and stuff went down. But you can still make a lot of money through email marketing. So that's great. Um, so what you do, and, and if you're watching this video right now, I kind of assume that you actually have a list already of uh, subscribers or people where you gather their emails manually, maybe saved it in a Word or text file or whatever. And that's great. You can simply import them right here to MailChimp and get this stuff started. So what you simply do is you go to lists right here uh, and you create a new list. I actually done this already with a test list for this video, but I will create a new one right here. Uh, new list, yeah, you click create list, very simple. And there you basically fill, all, fill out all this simple stuff like list name. As I said, it depends on what kind of list you have. Uh, default from email address this is very important that you put the right email right there uh because if people reply to a wrong email someone else will get it and you don't want that right so you would put your actual email in there and so when people make a reply you will actually receive it then the default from name this is basically just simply the name people will actually see uh when they receive an email from you obviously and there you simply have to post a real Right here, you have to post uh, put a real short uh, reminder on why people joined your list. This is some legal stuff. Uh, you have to remind people why they actually joined it. For example, um, because you signed up to the site or you were interested in a course or whatever. Um, then you put your, your address there and stuff and um, your phone, of course. So, and then you can get this stuff started and you simply click save and it will automatically create uh, this list and there you have two options of course if you have an uh, an integration software right here like i use instapage.com where you can actually integrate this whole stuff so it gets automatically added to the list the emails 
uh, you can simply do that. But in most cases right now, if you're just starting out, you will probably just want to import your current subscribers to MailChimp, right? So in order to do that, you simply easily click import subscribers. And there you can choose if you want to upload the text or CSV file, or you want to simply copy and paste them. Uh, if you want to go to easy road, just go and copy and paste a bunch of emails into MailChimp right here. And um, you simply copy and paste them in here and you understand this and you click next and then it will be created, right? So, and what's really important though is if you want to automate stuff, you need a kind of uh, a tool. For example, I use instapage.com or there's other stuff too, like uh, infusions or whatever. How do you call the other thing? Uh, the, the one very famous thing. Um, let me think about the name and I will actually cut this and then tell you. ClickFunnels, yeah, that's it. ClickFunnels uh, is the other famous thing. I decided to go with Instapage, uh, which is a pretty more basic kind of thing for my users right here because I'm not doing this much stuff right here, like courses and stuff too often. So, But if you want a real good uh, uh, ClickFunnel processing kind of stuff thing, you go with ClickFunnels most likely. But um, in this example right here, basically all of these tools work the same. And as you can see, they have a function to actually um, integrate all of these famous um, mail processing, email processing services like GetResponse, Aweber, MailChimp, Infusionsoft, all of this stuff can be integrated with uh, instapage.com, for example. Or some people also use simply some WordPress free plugins or whatever. Uh, you can do that if you're just starting out. Maybe I will make another video on how to actually do this in detail, but it's really not that hard because it's pretty easy to use actually. You simply uh select your provider right here and uh select the list you want people uh to sign up to and um that's it another really important thing on mailchimp though is the automation right so i really want to explain this to you a little bit um how this stuff works as you can see right here um as i told you already you don't you cannot do stuff manually right so you need an automation kind of a sequence where you actually, when people sign up to your list, where you actually send them uh, emails right away, uh, do direct follow-up emails. And this is basically done through the whole automation tool right here. And as you can see, for example, for my new Instagram course, um, this is basically how it looks like right here. Uh, got a pretty nice open rate and stuff like this. So and this is all automated stuff, right? You don't have to care about any of these things. Once it's set up, once you have uh, a schedule, like 10 emails or something, this will always be sent out to your subscribers once they sign up. And this is pretty nice. So how do you add automation to your uh, MailChimp right here? You simply click on add automation. And this thing right here is a little bit tricky. Sometimes it took a while. Um, until I found out how to do this. So, and this right here can be a little bit tricky because sometimes people don't know what to choose right here. So all you want to do is if you have the goal to simply uh, make people get an email once they sign up, which you most likely do if you're watching this video, you simply go to list activity or you choose list activity and then say uh, welcome message right here. Um, then you give it some kind of name like welcome. Then you of course have to select the list. Then you click next. All right. And then you can already edit or design your welcome email, right? And this will in most cases will be something like, hello, welcome to my list. Here's a free video tutorial that I've promised you for signing up and stuff like this. And what is really important though, and what some people forget to do, and which is kind of, uh, uh, killing their success is they leave this right here as it is. And it says one day or the trigger says one day after subscribers joins the list. This means that they would receive the email one day after they sign up, right? But we don't want that. So we have to go to edit trigger and we have to actually change the delay right here and um, simply put it to immediately and then click update trigger. And then it says trigger updated and um, it says welcome. And this will be sent out immediately right here after your subscribers join the list. And once we add an, another email to the whole sequence right here, 
Uh, this will be one day after this email was sent, but we can also edit this, of course, but you have to make sure, you just have to figure it out uh, for yourself what's what's the best for your list or your project because everything is so different right here with, I mean, I don't know what you want to promote. In most cases, if you're doing online marketing or something, it will be like some kind of free offer or in the end, some kind of course or whatever. I'm pretty sure about that. So uh, that's basically it, how you use MailChimp.com pretty basic tutorial on how to really use it, how to get, uh, this is basically all you need in my opinion uh, when you start out with MailChimp, with email sending, automating emails and stuff. And if you have any questions, please be sure to post a comment below and um, be sure to like the video and subscribe and see you soon.